can't get over how pretty this town is. Enjoying your country chicken, Pearl? It is so good. <laughs> We've gotten up super early because my paranoia has kicked in. Jackson, I hope you like the 40, mate, and I hope one day your old boy gets you one. It's and look so how windy. windy. It is. We're gonna have another dust storm. Leanne got the fire going today. Great job, this fire is absolutely raging. Stopped at Mansfield, did our grocery shop, water point, dump point, all the, the usual. And now make our way to, I think we, well we spoke to a local and it's actually Edi, not Eddie. Yeah, Edi. <laughs> so we're on our way and we just pulled off to go to uh, Powers, Powers Lookout. Powers Lookout. And you can see Mount Feathertop and Mount Hotham from here. So we're just taking a walk down to Check it out. It's named after Harry Power. Um, he was basically Ned Kelly's mentor. Um, so it's pretty cool. This was one of his hideouts um, as a bush ranger. He would come up here and hide out um, to evade police and to evade capture. So it's actually really interesting. It's pretty cool and it's cool. an awesome spot. You can see why Harry would have picked up here to hide out and get away from police and capture. Cause yeah, the views are stunning. Welcome to Lake Sambel at Beachwear. Yep. It's absolutely stunning here. It's so good. So we ended up staying at Edi for one night, but it was so busy yeah. that we didn't film anything. So. Um, and yeah. the flies. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, the flies were so bad. Um, it was pretty much just another free camp, similar to where we were at um, Skipworth Reserve. Um, we're right on the water there, just a little river. I think it's the King River. Um, so yeah, we spent one night there. Um, we didn't do any filming because it was very busy and it was very similar to the Skipworth one that we were at. So just a lot more flies. <laughs> so we decided to pack up from there and we've headed to Beechworth. Um, yesterday we stopped in at the Beechworth Bakery and it's such a stunning little town. Yeah. How good is Beechworth? We wow. didn't bring the GoPro with us, so we're yeah. walking into town today so we can show you around.
best day. Mm-hmm. Can't get over how pretty this town is. It's stunning. Oh wow. And we're coming into autumn now, so all these trees are going like an orange and a red and the leaves are falling. It's just it's stunning. Feels like we're in the UK or something like that, doesn't it? Apart from the heat. <laughs> Apart from the heat, yeah. Uh, it's supposed to be 31 degrees today, so we're up early to try and walk around town to beat the heat. That's very interesting. I didn't know Harry Power, the lookout that we went to the other day. Um, this here is the courthouse that he made seven appearances and was locked up um, here in Beechworth. So that's very interesting. Cool bit of history. We uh, stopped in and visited the old Beechworth jail and there was a old Indian motorcycle show and shine today so that was awesome. Got to check out some pretty cool bikes. Oh there are some really nice bikes. Wow. Um, so yeah we've had a great morning. We're going to go walk now to the old Beechworth bakery and grab ourselves a coffee and maybe a Ned Kelly pie. Ooh, that'd be good. Breakfast for champions.
the caramel latte. Enjoying your country chicken pie? It is so good. <laughs> it is probably up there with one of the best pies. Mm. Yum. Very yum. And I'm going to enjoy a German donut. What else you got? <laughs> German donut. She finds German donuts in any town we go to. I just find the sweetest of sweet treats and that's my breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Would have to say Beechworth has been probably the most prettiest town we have stopped in at. Would you agree? It is absolutely stunning here and there is heaps of history here. Mm. We checked out the um, old Beechworth jail and there was the there was courthouse. a yeah, yeah the courthouse. Uh, old lockup. Yeah, the old lockup the, where they locked up Harry Power. So all that of the stores and everything are really cool with all the old school buildings and yeah. signs and stuff like that. So far, it's been our number one town. This is absolutely stunning here at Beechworth. It is beautiful. We're just gonna finish our pie and donut and coffee, <laughs> and then we'll go back to camp and show you around. We were supposed to lose weight on this trip. When we left, we were like, oh yeah, we'll eat healthy and we'll lose weight and we'll do fitness stuff while we're camping. And so far, <laughs> <laughs> we have coffee, German donuts, pies, we're never going to lose weight at this rate. Why not? Why not? Heading back to camp. Yep. <laughs> We've been nice out. morning. Yeah, it's a beautiful morning. We've been out all morning exploring around Beechworth. <laughs> It's been a while since we've filmed any cooking <laughs> segments. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what are we having? Uh, chicken, bacon casserole. Oh, nice. Well, it's our last night here at Lake Sandball Caravan Park. Um, we're just getting dinner sorted. Um, and yeah, we'll probably have a nice early night tonight. We're both pretty tired. We've been up and about walking through town and we sort of had a bit of a late night last night. Leanne was finishing up editing and um, I was watching a whole heap of movies. And then we got stuck on that, there's a flight MH370, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a doco on Netflix. So I got stuck into that and couldn't get off of it. So yeah, last night was pretty late. So we'll probably have an early night tonight. Um, we're packing up tomorrow and leaving here. We have a young bloke who has been following us and watching our videos and loves the 40. So um, we've been in contact with his old man and yeah, we'll meet them down at the Beechworth Bakery tomorrow morning so he can have a good look at the truck. And um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I remember when I was a young fella, I always loved these trucks. So it's cool that we can share it with the younger generation. Um, get them keen, get them into building their own trucks and yeah, getting out there and exploring. So um, yeah, looking forward to that. We'll meet up with them in the morning. We do have to go to Wodonga. We've got to stop and there's a JB Hi-Fi because we've run out of space on hard drives. So we need to get some new hard drives um, so we can keep doing footage and doing editing and putting up videos. So we'll do that then we were going to head to Mitter Mitter. Yeah, go through that road. I think it's Omeo Highway. So, yeah, it should be a pretty busy day tomorrow. Um, but we'll touch base with you guys a bit later on.
this meal will be for a couple of nights as well because <laughs> it is massive. So we're definitely not going to eat all this tonight. <laughs> um, but it's good, we've got leftovers. Yeah, we use um, the pop-up containers which have been quite handy. Yeah. So we'll put this in a container for tomorrow. Maybe dinner for the next couple of nights, I reckon. Yep. Jamie's favourite dish. Yeah. I don't think we'll um, put the fire on tonight. <laughs> It's actually quite warm. It's 31 degrees and it's staying 31 degrees until like 7 o'clock tonight. So, yeah, I think we will give the fire a miss tonight. <laughs> Just taking Sky for a walk before we put her to bed. <laughs> The cubby house. The cubby house. <laughs> Bedtime. Hiya. <laughs> oh, it's so nice with the fairy lights on. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Oh, actually, what are we watching? My download to catch me if you can. Yes. Download. <laughs> Movie night. And we got chocolate. Good morning. So we've left our uh, caravan park this morning, late Sandbell. And we've come for a drive to the gorges at Beechworth. Unfortunately part of the road is closed so we can't actually get to the waterfall. So it's a bit of a shame but oh well. What's a shame? That the road's closed. Yeah. The powder magazine's still here which is pretty cool. It was built in 1860 so that's where they stored all the gunpowder for um, all the mining and stuff that they did. And the building was actually designed um, so if there was ever an explosion, it would explode and everything would go upwards and not out. Um, so that's pretty cool. These must be the um, special lightning rods that were installed. Um, I was reading about it and yeah, it said that they installed special lightning rods in case of um, lightning strike. It wouldn't ignite the um, gunpowder. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> Well, 
we've checked out the gunpowder, um, oh sorry, the powder magazine here in Beechworth. Um, now we're going to head into town, go to the Beechworth Bakery and catch up with some legends that follow along with us. So that should be pretty cool. Um, we'll see you guys in town. Legend! <laughs> this is Jackson, one of our fans. We're here, we finally made it to camp. Yeah. <laughs> but what an awesome day we have had today. It's been so good. Um, this morning we went into Beechworth um, to grab a coffee from the Beechworth Bakery. And we also met up with um, Jamie, Briley and Jackson. Absolute legends. Um, thank you guys for coming down and saying good day. Jackson, I hope you like the 40, mate, and I hope one day your old boy gets you one. <laughs> <laughs> then, yeah, we just drove through. Um, we didn't go too far. Yeah, we, we're um, just outside of Mittermitter. We're at Eskdale, Eskdale, I think. yeah. yeah. Katie Peters Memorial Camp. Um, it's on Wiki Camps, and it is stunning. Mm. Um, just, it's the typical high country <laughs> camping. Um, with the, the raging river. The raging river. <laughs> We have the raging river going right out front of our camp um, and yeah, it's stunning. The, just the backdrop is beautiful. Mm. Love it. It's so good. It's a bit hot today though. Normally it's nice and chilly, but today... Last couple of days have been hot. Yeah. Got up to 35 degrees today, so yeah. that's pretty hot for the high country, I think. <laughs> um, we ended up stopping at a um, just a rest stop and there was a beautiful creek there as well, so we we pulled up, jumped in the creek, went for a swim, mm. took Sky for a swim as it well. It was ice cold though. Oh, I did beautiful. not go for a swim. <laughs> Leanne didn't go for a Too swim. Too cold for me. Sky and I jumped yeah. in though. It was beautiful. It was so nice and refreshing after yeah sitting in the 40. It mm -hmm. gets bloody hot in there. Um, but yeah, it's another it's for night. another perfect camp. So we'll uh, enjoy this beer and. Um, I think I'll probably have to grab my own though. You seem to be <laughs> smashing through my beer. Um, I might grab my own beer. <laughs> and um, yeah, we'll enjoy the view. Enjoy this raging river. <laughs> All set up. Didn't take long. Yeah. <laughs> we're pros at it now. Yeah. <laughs> well, you are. Every video, it always looks like Leanne does the setting up, <laughs> <laughs> and I do nothing. But I do set up. Yeah. I got to justify my existence. You do. You set up ninety percent of the time. Ninety percent of the time. I just look better on camera. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you can set up from now on then. <laughs>
Good morning guys. <laughs> well, we're up super early this morning and it's actually pretty chilly. Yeah. Um, it's supposed to storm, is it today or tomorrow? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, but we're supposed to have rain today. Um, but we've gotten up super early because my paranoia has kicked in um, <laughs> and I want to get away from these gum trees that are around us. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't sleep very well this morning at all. Once that wind picked up, um, yeah, I kept looking out the window, looking at these gum trees, thinking, oh God, one of them's gonna fall on us. Um, usually I'm pretty cautious with where we camp. I'll always look up, make sure there's no dead limbs hanging off trees or anything like that. But these gum trees just scare me for some reason. And there's already one gum tree that's come down before we've got here. Um, and it's laying down up in the creek so it they obviously come down quite easily around here so i think yeah we'll probably pack up and move today um try another spot hopefully with less of these dodgy looking gum trees and they are all on a lean as well like most of them are all leaning towards us so i think i'll pack up and we'll move the car and find somewhere more safe This one here behind me is the one that I'm uh, worried about. Because I reckon if, yeah, if it did fall, it's probably within reach of hitting the car. So, and we wouldn't stand a chance if we were still in that tent. So, I think I made the right call. I was going to go to the general store and get a couple of bits because there isn't a grocery store until, or a food works or IGA until Omeo. Yeah. But um, we've just come down to Paddy's Reserve. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's stunning. So nice. It's a, There's a little swimming area uh, just above the waterfall. Um, definitely way too chilly today it's <laughs> and look so how windy, windy. It is. we're gonna have another dust storm turn the camera around show sure. like comes through and just yeah coats everything in dust oh here we go have it up there <laughs> Wind's changed direction. Yeah, it was blowing towards us before. <clears throat> but yeah, so we've. Uh, what are we going to do now? Uh, we, <laughs> don't know. I guess we're, just... <laughs> we're stumped. We oh. got to go to the grocery shop, do the at the general store. Mm. Then um, I guess we'll just drive around and check things out. easy simple dinner tonight um, Leanne got the fire going today she's done a great job this fire is absolutely raging it was so nice sitting by it um, but yeah we're just having roast potatoes um, some meat pies just the 4 and 20 meat pies that you get from Coles and um, baked beans so nice hearty meal for dinner nice and simple um, less and, to wash up yeah less to wash up which is good for me 
and uh, yeah, we'll probably have a nice early night tonight. We're at um, Lightning Creek Campground. It's stunning here. It is so beautiful. I say it every time, like the Victorian high country is just incredible. You can drive like 15 minutes down the road and then you're at another spectacular free camp. These are all free, not paying a single cent for any of these. And it's just, it's amazing. And every single one of them has a beautiful crystal clear running creek. So we have plenty of water for our hot showers. Um, yeah, it's just, it's stunning. It's so good. I love the Victorian high country. And it's starting to get a bit chilly now as well. So that's also a bonus. And um, yeah, we're loving it. I think we'll probably stay here for tonight. Um, we do have to head into Omeo. Um, we've got to pick up some groceries and stuff like that and it has no phone signal so we'll have to go into town and check all of our social media and contact family and friends so yeah it'd be a nice early night by the fire I reckon. Just a little river, I think it's the Goulburn, yep. Goulburn River that runs through. Actually um, no. No? It's the King River. Sorry, <laughs> King River. Bit moody this morning, are we? <laughs> God, it's full of beans, pulling me everywhere. It's the dog giving me the shits. Yeah. <laughs> Is it caramel? Yeah. Yes. Why does it keep doing that? Looks a bit funky that donut. You look funky. <laughs> Just half? No. Oh. You were so, supposed to share your pie and you didn't. So now I didn't know that was the rule. No, I'm eating the whole donut. When did that become the rule? <laughs> Up there when you obviously weren't listening to me. Did you say? Yeah. You said. I want half of your pie, and yep. I'll give you half of this German donut. Yep. And you're like, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> Not in the door. No. You're the one who put stuff away. We lost the cream. <sighs> oh no, we have it. <laughs> Would have been in big, big trouble. Big trouble. <laughs> Ladybug. <laughs> 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 <laughs>